Hello friends, my name is Palash Chandra Das. Today I came to discuss on selection of different sterilization modalities. We'll go next. So uh, before going uh, towards our main content, I would like to request you all to subscribe my channel Pharmaceutical Resource and Education Services PRES and press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming videos. To read us uh, on blog, feel free to connect press.net.in and you will get all our social networking link in the video description. What is sterility? So, sterility is a state or conditions which demonstrate any product container that free from viable microorganism. What is sterilization? A suitable designed, validated and controlled process that inactivates or remove viable microorganism in a product until sterility is obtained. Exactly. Sterilization in a different way if I if I explain the sterilization. Sterilization is a is defined as the process for the complete destruction or removal of all microorganisms including spore forming and non spore forming bacteria virus fungi protozoa that could contaminate pharmaceutical or other material thereby can be constituted a health hazard sterility assurance level sal the sal for a given sterilization process is expressed as the probability of microorganism surviving in a product item after exposure to the process. A SAL of 10 to the power minus 6, for example, denote a probability of not more than one non sterile item in 1 into 10 to the power 6 sterilized item of the final product. It's one in one million. So we'll discuss here the decision tree. Uh, so this, this decision tree starts from whether the product rises to high temperature. So as we know, heating is a very conventional way of doing sterilizations, and it's very proven and accepted by regulatory as well. So, so if you if we get the answer here, yes, we can further move and we can check that whether my my product is stable in higher humidity as well. And again, the answer is yes. Then your 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 choice of sterilization modality will be the most state. So, if if no high humidity, your choice might be dry heat sterilization. And when the heating process cannot, your product cannot resist high temperature then we can move further for ionization radiations or we can move towards gaseous sterilization method and if you find both the method is not suitable for your process so we can we can further proceed for the aseptic processing where we can we can individually we can filter your product or even filtration is not possible we can individually all the component can be sterilized and assemble in a highly controlled environment and if this is also not part of your choice probably you need to work with the product design so here we get clarifications on moist heat which is temperature and high humidity driven dry heat uh, which is temperature driven the radiations gaseous filtrations and as I discussed combination of this relation process which which may part of your aseptic processing so further my slide is uh, on on aquash uh, product tree decisions and we can see the questions is starting from can the product be sterilized by steam sterilization as the temperature 121 degree per 15 minutes. So this is the very preferable method of sterilization using 121 degree centigrade sterilization temperature for 15 minutes. If yes, we can. Okay, we, this is the this is the first interest of choice, you know, for sterilization of our product. If not, 
we we can go with f o greater than eight and s l ten to the power minus six. If not possible in, in lower you know temperature and f o shift point, then we can further go for microwave LED filtrations. And even filtration is not part of your choice. Uh, we can pre-sterilize individual or mix the component aseptically. So one of the example it can be happen for any kind of wholesale vaccines where you cannot filter actually and where you cannot heat your content. Probably we can sterilize all the component and fill in a very controlled aseptic environment. This decision tree I have bring uh, from the guideline on the sterilization uh, published by EMA. Even my upcoming two decision tree are brought from that sterilization guidance of EMA only. You will get the link of that guidance in my comment description. Decision tree on the powder, non aquash and semi solid. So here the preference is heat, heating the process 160 degree for 120 minute. If your process allow, you can process it. If your product and design does not allow, you can provide a time and temperature combination to achieve 10 to the power minus 6 SA. Then also, if you feel that your product cannot resist high temperature, then you can process it with radiation where you can use minimum 25 kg radiation dose to ensure the sterility 10 to the power minus 6. So if radiation modality is not your of your choice, then we can further use the filtration technique or further aseptic processing doing individual sterilization. You can thought of a dry powder injections where your API is pre-sterilized using radiations and your container can be even pre-sterilized using radiation or gaseous sterilization. So decision tree for selecting container. So can if if you can heat your container, so dry heating it will be the most efficient process of sterilizing your glass container or any kind of container which can resist heat. So for parenteral solution for small volume parenteral we use tubular and molded molded glass vials and those are those are heated through dynamic tunnel. So if the container cannot able to resist high heat so we can we can sterilize we can we can sterilize through radiations so again if radiation is 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 not the right choice of your product we can sterilize by using gaseous sterilizations in gaseous sterilization is important to penetrate the gas within the membrane or within the container we need to take consideration on the residue of gas as well so if if your container cannot resist heat cannot be go with the radiations cannot be go with the gaseous then you need to choose a different container we need to work on the design and development of your container uh, we'll have small case study to understand this process of selecting modality so we had a case study on aseptic and terminal installation process so uh, to discuss uh, with fast the TS product so I, I will say this is a terminal sterilization and the requirement we know broadly uh, the control process with routine biomedical monitoring so we need a control biomedical monitoring process where we where we got the product and and, and it's fill seal and complete later on we can we can perform sterilization process in terminal moisture sterilization and then release the product whereas in case of aseptic processing we need a highly controlled process with routine biomedical monitoring and we can see the number of uh, activities we perform we mix uh, we have done pre-filtration we done sterile filtration we hold in a sterile tank 
we do redundant filtration then we feel in a very highly controlled in environment we choose container closures for separate sterilization technique then after sterilizing all the material are assembled uh, under a highly controlled filling area to produce sterile product so this 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 example i provide you know based 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 on the product design based on the product development is your product can resist heat is your product cannot resist heat is your product compatible to radiation is your product compatible to gaseous all those questions is required during during designing of your process and selecting of your container configurations based on that the modality of the sterilization has been choose and selected although the different factors when when we, you will have a uh, number of sterilization technique can be applied for your product then the consideration will be taking you know based on the safety suppose eo residue take longer time uh, to to remove the residue from the product and it's a highly time bound activity if we talking about the radiations in radiation we can use gamma radiations x ray e beam but it is again required a separate and dedicated facility to build up a radiation zone or you need to find out a third party who can work for you and the conventional is moist sterilization so all the sterilization techniques can be adopted based based on the preferences firstly from the process from the product then it's come with the budget and capex or opex you, you want to involve for further processing and manufacturing thank you we'll come again with some of uh, more interesting video till then bye bye